Listen, I got a public service, public service announcement to make right quick. <laughs> the men's restroom, you can use the urinal, but the, the rest of it's out of order. Let's all be mindful of that. We don't want nobody having to clean up no big messes. Or, I don't know who was responsible for that, but anyway. Everybody got to spend time with their families and have a good Thanksgiving. I'd like to welcome Pastor Clay and Edgewood Drive. Is that right? They really, uh, really bring it. Uh, it's good to see y'all tonight. It's good to be in the house of the Lord again. Amen. I'm tired, so bear with me for a minute. Uh, I think the restaurant was really the only announcement I had. Let's remember the names on the prayer board. I guess everybody's heard that uh, the church in Iowa is closed down. Uh, it's regrettable, but it's just, it was the necessary thing. What we need to do is get this right. We need to get our hearts right. We need to get this. We need to grow this church. And we can't spread it then. If the Lord leads us to spread spread our wings and, and move on, we'll do that. But I encourage everybody, let's try to get this part of it right first. It's not about the building. It's not about being big or nothing. It's about souls. It's about changing people's lives. Uh, I thank God he changed mine. Yeah. Well, Eversville was a big part of, of getting me changed. Nine years ago, I was lost. I was, uh, wasn't as bad as some, but I was a whole lot worse than most, you know. Uh, I thank God this is, March will be nine years since I've used any dope or... <coughs> He's still working on me. He's still changing me. Uh, he's giving me a heart for people now. And he, he's made me want to uh, try to be a productive part of society now. Uh, I just regret I, I wasted all that time. I encourage you guys that's younger than me to, to start now. Uh, I waited 45 years before I, I decided to give my life. I decided I wanted to to do anything besides party and, and drinking drugs now it's rough. I have to work all the time. Uh, I still don't have anything and, I'm, and material stuff isn't all that important, but it takes it to live. I have to, I got to provide for my family, you know. Uh, anyway, that being said, let's go our circle prayer, y'all. You know? <laughs> Precious Father, I thank you again for the opportunity to come in your house. Now, Father God, I ask that you bless these monies and as we receive them, Lord, bless the giver. Bless those who can't give, Lord. I ask that not one dime be used for anything other than to further your cause and to further your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.